really want to go to Istanbul. Yes. You made me really want to go there. Thank you. <laughs> and I think it isn't so much about the cats, is it, really? It's about the city and mm -hmm. it's about the people in the city. Yeah, you know, it's, it's when, you, when you also see your hometown represented in like a one-tone way, um, uh, actually Chimamanda Chidi, the journalist, said it so beautifully, the novelist, um, said it so beautifully about the, one, the problem with the one story. You know, and, and Istanbul and Turks and even cats are shown in like a single storyline. And I wanted to you know, bring a, a challenge to that and show the world the Istanbul that I know and love, the people that I know and love, um, and the cats that I know and love, because it's something that is not you know, it, you know, shown enough. They were lovely, Thank the you. fishermen and yeah. the shopkeepers, and they were just lovely. Yeah. And those people were genuinely, genuinely lovely. And Charlie, I would translate to Charlie, I would translate everything in, into English because he doesn't speak Turkish. And he'd be like, did they just say that really poetic thing that you just said? And I'd be like, yeah, you're right, it is kind of really poetic. Let's make sure we don't forget that, you know. And um, the beauty, like it was a very kind of a difficult time because we were in, it was a magical summer because we were one summer after the Gezi Park protest, which was a big political issue over actually environmental reasons. And, um, and this following summer was the Syrian refugee crisis coming in full bloom and the following summer was the failed coup attempt. So, you know, there was this moment of happiness and peace in the city that you could actually make this film. But we were conflicted on a daily basis because we would occasionally, you know, enter parts of the city that were full of Syrian refugees and nobody really understood what was going on yet. Um, or political things were happening that people didn't quite understand the meaning of yet. And um, the thing that kind of drove us to continue making the film was the fact that everyone that we were talking to was genuinely authentic in their compassion and love and they restored our faith in humanity as we were making the film so in a way we had to craft the film to project that emotion to restore faith in humanity in a way. We do see human beings being nice to each other once in a while but it's interesting that they become so humane when they're dealing with cats. These people were loving cats. Yeah, and one of the beautiful surprises was there were so many men, no? Yeah, there like were. We, we yeah. actually had to try hard to be equal with the women, representing enough women, because there were so many cat daddies. And I love it because now like, people after screenings will come up and say, I'm so happy that we see so many men taking care of cats, and I can proudly admit I have six. You know, and, <laughs> and so it's, you know, liberate the males, <laughs> the men in the world. <laughs>